Away in the meadow, amid the red clover, a bee hovers, collecting nectar. From flower to flower he emerges, his little legs and behind, covered in sweet sticky pollen. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be starting with making a wreath and I'm going to make it really differently. I'm taking a set of paper plates, this was from Morrison's, and I'm going to be using this as my main wreath form. Just look at how beautiful the design is already. So we don't want it looking like a paper plate obviously. So I'm going to start decorating around here. And to do that we're going to be using moss. So this is my collection here. So grab your glue gun, you can see I use moss a lot. I've got moss stuck to the glue gun itself. And we're going to be adding glue and moss as we go. Starting just at the bottom here. I want to make sure it's all covered so I am adding quite a bit of glue there let's get the moss ready like this and we're just going to start gluing it you might see a little soil falling <laughs> that's because some soil is still attached Any little space I'm adding more hot glue and just making sure that the sides are nice and covered so we can't see any of the plate. I've got my artificial flowers now and we're going to start sticking them down. I did finish covering the plate with the moss as you can see so just taking my glue again. I've taken a few different sprigs of my artificial flower collection so I'm starting on the side with these white ones. And then I think I'm going to go with the yellow, nice and bright. Just overlapping the white flowers a little there. I snipped off some lavender and again just taking my glue and overlapping the last yellow flower there. Taking a smaller one, so I'm just layering really, I'm adding same yellow one I'm going to start adding some flowers at the bottom and this is actually a paper one so this is a sunflower I thought it's just going to add that touch of colour I haven't quite figured what I want at the bottom or the top so I'm just going to carry on working on this side and I'm going to try to mirror this side I'm not actually sure if I've got all the flowers but we'll have a look so I'm taking the white ones first I've actually run out of this yellow flower here so we're only going to be able to place one let me just lift that a little just trying to make sure it's kind of similar to the other side there let's add the lavender got plenty of lavender so at the bottom here we're going to be overlapping the flowers these are the paper ones it's going to go something like this I'm going to be taking one of these butterfly wall stickers and I always give them a little bend this <laughs> has been used for another project so it's not too sticky now so I'm just taking a drop of hot glue in the middle there and let's add that right here the side of the wreath. I'm taking these tiny really cute bees. These are toppers so I'm just going to add the glue right there. Gosh they're tiny so you have to be careful with your fingers and I'm going to glue one there and one up here and I think we're going to finish off with a bow at the top. Guys these flowers here aren't doing it for me I don't know why. <laughs> So this is what happens. I mean, I was debating off camera for the longest time, but yeah, going to have to remove them and figure out what flowers I want there instead. I think it's the small dainty ones that do it for me. <laughs> so I even tried with these, but we're going to stick with these and I'm going to need quite a few. So I need to buy some more. Again, I'm going to be overlapping them, so kind of like this. This one's lost a petal, don't know where. 
now taking this bow this is a pre-made bow i got it from zadil i'll leave it in the description box um, and i'm going to just glue that on the top and then we're done so this is a final project and now you can see that my intro poem really matches the whole theme here and I'm just so happy with this, like who would know that I made this using a paper plate? I love the background. For the next DIY, this is going to be pretty quick, we're going to be taking some tumble tower blocks, four in total and we're going to stick them together using our hot glue. I'm also going to be taking some more paper plates and these are again be themed from home bargains so let's start with gluing these together I just like to remove the glue And you do want to do that because you want it nice and flat and smooth. So again, so we've got our four blocks ready. Then you want to place it on top of this section here. Let me just get a pencil, and you're going to draw along it. Now you know how much to cut, so grab your scissors. If you don't want to use a paper plate or you don't have one, you can just print something similar off the internet. We're just going to glue that on. You can use this for a tear tray as well, just to decorate it because it's a miniature. Now the next step is taking some moss again and we're going to just decorate the top of the tumble tower. So I'm going to get my hot glue ready and stick a few bits of moss on. This is optional, don't really think you need to do it, especially if you're making this for a tiered tray. Just removing a little bit of the soil that's on the moss here. I'm going to be adding some flowers to the top, the same ones that I used in the first project. So sometimes you need to like cut cut them down a little bit because they stick up a bit too much so I think that's what I'm going to do and we're going to have this one coming down right here I think I'm just going to go with two and then to finish it off you can just leave it like this but I have this gorgeous brooch or brooch however you like to say it this was off the deal as well I'm going to add that I think around about here yeah not on top you can't see them that well so I think I'm gonna just stick him down here and we're done with this gorgeous little DIY quick and easy but honestly this one might be my favorite let me know what you think in the comments below for the next project you're going to be taking a champagne flute these are from Poundland and you're going to take the top half and what you want to do is get rid of this part here so I have this tool that I'm going to be using I've attached the blade to the top there and I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit hot and then I'll be able to cut through the plastic so you can see now it's getting hot and it's just cutting away at the plastic this is a really handy tool and it was pretty cheap as well So there we have it and then you can sand this up to make it nice and smooth. Next you're going to grab a cardboard, take a pencil and you want to draw along your champagne flute. Now you want to take your scissors and cut that out. 
once you have your circle what you want to do is stick that down again using whatever glue you like then you're going to take the bottom of your champagne flute add some glue then you want to stick it in the center and how cute is that? I've literally just made a cloche so you can put things inside before you glue it down if you want and you know you can change this up for seasons and holidays but we're actually going to turn this into a bee skep as you've seen from the thumbnail. Now we're going to be taking a placemat and this one is from Poundland as well but if you don't have this you can use just some string, some jute twine. So I'm taking it apart as you can see just gently pull at it and it just comes away very easily. So you're going to take your hot glue and apply it right at the bottom and then take this piece and attach it and we're just going to keep winding this around. So I'm going to fast forward this and play some music. When you get to the top you're going to have the hole and it's up to you how you want to fill it. You can put it like this or you can carry on winding it around until you fill the hole. You kind of have to stick it one little bit at a time and I'm going to need to burn all of this off. Once I'm done with this How cute is it? I'm really loving it. So off camera I just went and cut off all of the like excess little strands and I also went over it with a bit of fire. So now we're going to make the little hole and I tend to do it like quite kind of a big circle I'd say but I'm going for a smaller one this time because this is actually already pretty small and also realistically they are they tend to be very small holes. So I'm just taking a sharpie here going over a little section so this is kind of what they really look like but I feel like that's a bit small so I don't know if I should go for one bigger one so I have gone with another one in the end and you can make yours a circle I tend to but I just really want to go for kind of like a natural looking one this time I think I'm happy with this we're going to take one of these cuties again out <laughs> and you can remove these but I don't mind them um, little sticky foam pads let's have one going down this way I got these off eBay by the way and perhaps another here so I've added a third bee here and then I'm taking the small flowers again and I'm gonna stick them down to the base here and I'm gonna have three I think and then we will finish off with this little step So here's our final project from today. I really hope that you have enjoyed watching. Please make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!